and the symptoms so the symptom that is in the asthma of drunkards it may also be used in asthma of consumptives when the drosera is fail and there is a spasmodic cuff, cuff of tickle angles so the remedy that is mephitis so the remedy that is mephitis then aconite is often presides the exhibition of mercury in the weather and i have spoken of hot days followed by cold night which is said by farrington and in the tuberculosis stage such trouble may be checked by aconite and if aconite fail then this remedy will be indicated and belladonna is useful in gums boils but it fails so from these symptoms whenever these symptoms that is similar to aconite and belladonna get failed we can think of this particular remedy that is mercurius okay so the mercurius is the remedy when aconite is often presides the exhibition of mercury in the weather and when there is a hot days and followed by the cold night with the when the complaint of this time we can think of mercurius and when the tuberculosis stage uh, each troubles may be checked by aconite and then if aconite is failed then this remedy will be indicated in all the sense and the belladonna is useful in gums boils of it uh, but it fails and the belladonna is mainly indicated in the boils of gum and it seems failed we can think of mercurius and the other one is a sepia sepia is uh, whenever the sepia is indicated means when there is a constipation or obstinate constipation especially after the failure of naxomica and sulfur whenever we think of constipation we will think of sulfur then naxomica then alumina then bryonia in such cases when there is a sulfur is indicated but it fails or the naxomica is indicated when it fails we can think of sepia then there is a severe attack of pleurisy in young women where phosphorus though apparently indicated and failed and the next is if uh, so if in a tearful mind with a uterine disturbance and pulsatla is indicated and but it fails and pulsatla is also failed we can think of sepia so another thing the, the sepia is also there's a yielding and mild disposition like pulsatla Uh, but we are thinking that sepia is always indifference and they will be irritable and so and so so but basically the sepia is also similar close running like pulsatla and then it often quickly ameliorates the itching and burning of rust of the vesicle drying up in few days and in that area also we can think of sepia <laughs> so these are the uh, main symptoms where the sepia can be used when the particular selected remedy is failed like naxomica and sulfur in constipation and when pulsatla in the cheerful mind with the uterine disturbance and when there is a rustox uh, uh, symptom of uh, rustox with uh, vesicle and drying up in few days we can think of uh, sepia and then there is a, when there is a pleurisy in young women where the phosphorus is though indicated we can think of sepia also so the next remedy is silesia when we can think of silesia so as everyone know when there is a rickets we will think of calcarea fossa or calcarea card and in that area we can think of silesia also so whenever the calcarea fossa is indicated in the children with rickets where when and when it's get failed we can think of silesia and if improvement case stops under a dose of dose or two dose of sulfur will sit so we'll set up the reaction and this will complete the cure so whenever the uh, whenever the patient or the child is required sulfur uh, and will the and silesia will help to complete the cure okay then about the stanamet and when where the stanamet is indicated when there the remedy is failed like first of all in the pain when the pain is ameliorated by pressure like colosin or bryonia we can think of stanamet colosin fails first generally 
and first thought in the abdominal pains and relieved by pressure and this may be relief and especially if the attack have been long standing or the patient seems to have chronic tendency we can think of sternomet so sternomet is the remedy where the pressure is ameliorated uh, sorry the pain is ameliorated by pressure like colosin or bryonia and when the abdominal pains is relieve the pressure and the patient is not uh, getting relief by bryonia and colosin and uh, then there is a chronic tendency of long standing attack of pain we can think of sternomet okay so these are the few points about the sorinum so sorinum this may be succeed in storic obstruction to vital reaction when sulfur is paid and the sorinum is also found useful when in the consequence of suppressed eruption and in such case it should never be forget with an another anti soric remedy so whenever we think of an eruption with the itching we will the, with suppressed eruption we will think of sulfur similarly what nash is telling that in the similar area we can think of sorinum also and nash is again telling that sorinum is indicated in chronic disease when seemingly indicated but it fails so in all sort of chronic disease we can think of sorinum if the symptom corresponds and if they are if there is a background of soric miasm the next step would be stromonium so in metragia from the retained placenta with the characteristic delirium the ckl is often acts promotely when this is has failed when the ckl core is failed uh, with the retained placenta and metragia and when there is the characteristics of delirium definitely we can think of stromonium if ckl core is failed and it may be called for incipient um, sorry incipiency of scarlet rhina when the rashes fail to appear and the brain suffers but it has less fever and throat symptoms and in this area also stromonium will will, uh, will be help you lot so in about the stronate stronatium card and this is the chronic sprain particularly of angle joint when both arnica and rus ruta have been failed in particular angle joint strain we can think of this particular remedy then a body sulfuric acid sulfuric acid is when indicated and when uh, when to give that uh, that means when the venous electro remedy is failed and in such area when the sulfuric acid will complete the cure or it will uh, get uh, goes to the next level of cure that is sometime in uh, in needed in case of hoarseness with the hoarse cough if other, other remedies all is got fail like uh, Uh, drosera hyoscyamus spongia if everything is been failed and there is a host uh, uh, there is a hoarseness with the deep hoarse of cough then we can think of sulfuric acid and there when there is a bronchial catarrh with loud rales and just particularly in the left lung and especially after the failure of ipica candium tart and phosphorus definitely we have to think of sulfuric acid and it has been clinically proved that it will help and there is the enough of the sulfur element so that is may succeed in flushes of heat after sulfur has failed at the climatric so the sulfuric acid is remedy whenever there is a whenever there is a climatric affection and when the sulfur is indicated and failed next about the terula Yes, terundula. That's very extremely restlessness of the limbs is like ars, and it is a deep acting medicine like arsenicum, and it sometimes has cured where the ars has failed. Also, it's well selected. So it's run similarly with the restlessness uh, like arsal. Whenever the ars is indicated, but it fails, we can think of terundula hispanica, and it's uh, it actually cures some dry itching is uh, eczema also. Uh, when there is a skin uh, involved like ars and the uh, sulfur has been uh, producing a similar set of symptoms like as uh, ars and sulf we can think of terundula hispanica with the dry itching eczema of the extremities and other part of the skin so terundula has been think of when the skin come when the patient is uh, presented with the skin complaint like dry itching eczema of the extremities or the other part of the skin uh, if and and arsenicum album and the sulfur is indicated but it failed to re, uh, 
fail to relieve we can think of tarantula hispanica then about the tuprium it is suitable when too much medicine has produced an over sensitive condition and the remedy to fail to act so in such cases we can think of tuprium next about the pyogen dysemia or surgical form swargeis infection then during the course of diphtheria typhoid typhus and when when first best selective remedies failed or permanently improved wherever there is a septic or septicemia we can the first remedy that come to and mind is pyrogen so that is has been mentioned here and pyrogen is also indicated when the epicac is indicated for uterine hemorrhage but it fails to cure then we can think of pyrogen and pyrogen has a slightest epistasis in the morning which by is failed to affect the fever like bryonia is having the symptom that has the symptom that epistasis so whenever the epistasis occurring in the morning we definitely will think of bryonia and the same you are very sure the sim- symptom is very similar to bryonia but it seems to be failed and it's not affecting or it's not uh, it's not curing the patient then you can think of pyrogen in that cases also then latent pyrogenic process patient continually lapsing after the apparent similimum so we can give an as an intercurrent when there is a relapsing after the apparent similimum that is the latent py- uh, pyrogenic process so again and this is the remedy that is about the sorina so sorina is indicated in chronic disease when seemingly indicated or fails or it success uh, succeeded in soric obstruction to an vital reaction when the sulfur is also failed and whenever there is a suppressed or the uh, suppressed uh, some uh, skin eruption and which got forgot uh, stop which got been forgotten but it appears after this after sometimes then we can think of sorina why because the soric miasm is background so that's all about the best selected remedy fail